We, the jury, find unanimously that the defendant did not cause the death of Botham John while under the immediate influence of sudden passion arising from an adequate cause and assess the defendant's punishment at 10 years imprisonment in the Texas Department of Criminal Justice. The words left Botham John's family appearing dismayed and shocked. Amber Geiger sentenced to 10 years in prison. She'll be eligible for parole in five years at just the age of 36. No justice, no peace! No justice, no peace! No Outside the courtroom, the sentence angered protesters sparking chants. The police department around the country so has done to so our unfair. people. This is not a joke. This is our lives. But at the same time, inside the courtroom, a dramatic scene was unfolding. I forgive you. Botham John's 18-year-old brother, Brant, spoke directly to the former Dallas police officer who killed his brother. He told Geiger that he didn't want to see her rot in prison and that he had one request before she was taken to her jail cell. I love you as a person. And I don't wish anything bad on you. I don't know if this is possible, but can, can I give her a hug, please? Please? Yes. Geiger's attorney called it humbling and the most amazing moment he had ever seen in a courtroom. The emotion lingered long after the case ended. Judge Tammy Kemp hugged Botham Jean's family and in a rare move also hugged Amber Geiger, the convicted murderer, and gave her a Bible. Allison Jean, Botham's mother, shared her hope for how Amber Geiger spends her years in prison. That 10 years in prison is 10 years for her reflection and for her to change her life. If Amber Geiger was trained not to shoot in the heart, my son would be standing here today. He was no threat to her. He had no reason to pose a threat to her because he was in his own apartment, in his sanctuary.